I got a lot of requests um, of people asking me to do the bow tie French manicure that I showed in one of my earlier slideshows. And it's really easy to do. I'm going to show you three different ways how to do it. And I hope you enjoy. This is my little assembly line of nails. I use Funky Fingernails Volk in that one. I use Sally Hansen Extreme Wear. I don't know what the name of this was, but I really like it. It's just like this shimmery purple. And then I used Sally Salon, pardon my French, for that. And those are three colors. Okay, so once you have the color laid down, you want to get your white. I'm using Sally Hansen Diamond Strength No Chip. And basically you just want to do like you do for French manicure. You just make a white line going across like that. It's okay, but it's not perfect because you're still going to make the ribbon. But try, try to just make it straight across. Oh, sorry, I'm missing that one. I just did the blue down there. But um, if you have the gaps in it, you can go back through and let me move the nail And then you go upwards like this. And that way you cover everything. Especially when using bolder colors like this blue that I'm using down here. Like this. Oh, let me move this whole thing over. Okay, I move them closer. This is extremely hard to show on the camera, and especially using fake nails. They keep moving because I'm trying to use tape to hold them down. So I'm really sorry about all that. Um, <laughs> it's also really hard because I have the camera on this little thing of hairspray above the nails. So I'm really sorry. It keeps moving. But anyway, you just want to make sure that you do these strokes across and then up and down if you need. They so kind of want to like smooth it out. And make sure that there's white everywhere up here. So not the one that's using acrylic paints. I'm using the traditional black because this one's more like the traditional French manicure. And a small brush like this. You also need to have your water and um, I have a little Kleenex, so I can wipe it off. So you want to dip your brush in the water and make sure that the tip is thinned out, like this. And then dip in your black. Make sure there's no more water on it. And then trace a line across the nail, like that. But then you want to go back over it and make sure it's all even. This is the basis. This you really want to be neat on because it's going to be the basis of your ribbon and the line between the French manicure and the rest of your nail part. So there I have a line. It's a little bit crooked up here, but it's okay because you won't see it once I start the bow. But if I really want to be picky, I can make a line thicker and then bring this up here and work that in. It looks messy on camera, but it's not that messy in real life. I don't know why. Okay, so th then you want to get more paint in your brush, and you want to make a circle on top of the line, like right in the center. And so you have a circle right there. And then two triangles going outward in the circle. So. This is the really basic bow. See how that covered up that side? That is the basic, basic bow tie French manicure nail. Okay, so now I'm going to move on to the one that I painted purple. I kind of like this a little bit more because it's a little different. Um, I'm going to be using Art Club, one of these kind of nail polishes. It's like a thin brush. It looks like that. 
and we're basically going to do the same thing. You just want to make the line that goes across neatly and evenly like that. And you want to take some more color and make that little circle again. It's a little bit hard to make a circle with this kind of brush. But just keep dotting on it and it will work out. Or if you have a big dot tool you can just use that. So there I have my circle. And then I'm going to make the triangle going outwards like this. Start thin from the middle and then get thicker. There you have your bow tie. But this is kind of plain. If you want to add some more details to it, then you can go through with a white. Didn't make it on time anyway, the camera stopped. But, um, here I have this dark blue acrylic, and I'm using the same brush as earlier, and I'm just going to dip that into dark blue, and to add some highlight and detail, we'll do the low light, you're going to go in from the middle and go out like that, and out like that, like that way, like a little triangle type thing also, but not closing it. And the other side, you want to do that too, just kind of go like out. And then you want to trace the bottom along this. Like that. And then wash that off. And then do the same thing on the opposite side with white. But I actually have a white like this. So I'm just going to make a little dot. I'm going to make this really small. Up here. Try to just like trace it around. Just a little bit of highlight. And then up here also, like along the edge, and on the other side too. Okay, the last thing I'm going to show you that is easiest, and this is the original way that I did this. I'm using Sally Hansen nail art pen in black, and I also have one in white. I didn't use this originally, but I'm going to try to make some highlight with the white one. So this is really easy to use. You have to shake it up and then press down. And once it starts flowing, you're good to go. I don't really like these usually because the tip is a little too thick for me in most designs. But for this, it's perfect. So you just want to trace along the edge. This is the easiest to trace along with. This makes it the best result. And it's really easy to get a really smooth, consistent line. But the only downside is you have to keep going over it because it kind of dries a little light. But there's the smooth line. It's really easy to make with this. And you just want to go over it a few more times. Make sure it's all even. Like up here. And then you're ready to make your little bow tie. You just draw a circle. This is like drawing with a felt tip pen. And these are great because like acrylics, you can just wash them right off if you don't like it. Making a little triangle there. And out here too. 